Welcome. Today we're going to take a quick look at what's new in Obsidian uh, 0.6.0, which got released last night. It is what uh, May May 19th right now. So let's start with actually something in the in the change right here in the change logs uh, as we create our first link to the note that we're looking at. And what we're going to do is uh, the link suggestion now has fuzzy search, so it doesn't matter what order you put the words in. So if I do this and I can go 0. Point, and you can see my two notes. I have 5.2 and 6.0. So we'll grab that. Perfect. Uh, another thing we can do now is link to headings right there. We can start typing as we normally would and then hit the pound symbol. So let's just erase that and we'll go erase that. We'll go what's new in 6.0 and now we can hit the pound symbol and we can link to whichever heading we want. So let's go to changes changes just for fun and that would mean that if we click on preview down here we're actually getting to another one right coming up below um, if we click on our preview we should get to changes let's go back to that and we'll open uh, test.md what's new in obsidian opened in preview mode perfect I love the splits here gotta say like I've been playing with a bunch of different stuff lately love the splits in obsidian a uh, few things I don't love about it, but I love that part. Follow links from the keyboard with Alt Enter and open a new panel with Control Alt Enter. So that means for stuff like, so I'm also using the Vim mode plugin here. I can do it's Option Enter in Mac, right? And I can do that, or I can go back to Test and I can go, um, what is it? Control Alt Enter. Let's actually just double check what that keyboard command is for Mac OS. Does it show? Open settings. Open today's note. Oh, of course, it's going to be hard to find it right now. Star on star current. Oh, okay, so that's actually excellent. I'm not sure if that's in the release notes, but it used to be two different commands, but now it's a toggle, which is excellent. Control S will toggle starred options. Perfect. I like that. Let's just try. So control alt enter should probably be command option enter. Command option enter does not work. Control control option enter. There you go. Open a new split. So in Mac OS open a new split will give you control option enter. Open a new panel. I always call them splits because that's what you call in Vim. Well, let's close that again. You can now search and replace with control H. So that means if I go to bill bill I can hit uh, command H on Mac I can type bill and see I already have Jill in there and replace with Jill perfect I love the live preview down here excellent daily notes now have the option of using a template note so daily notes are something that you have to make sure is turned on under plugins and I don't actually use them so I did not have it turned on but daily notes uh, are right here and we can use our template note. So I said new file location goes in the folder daily, right? Which is this folder right here. And then we'll go back there down to daily. And then I said that the template was daily slash template.md. And that is this template.md. So what are you grateful for? Did you work out? Did you sleep? How did you sleep? And so I can open today's note and it's going to give me these things. So then I can say, what am I grateful for? Runs and coffee. Right? Did you work out? This would actually. Right? Yep. 10K on Tom. Local Mountain. Which I did run this morning, actually. How did you sleep? Let's, uh, you know, call it a dad joke. With my eyes closed. Perfect. And we'll just save that. Now I have my daily notes saved and I can go back to Obsidian 6.0. Perfect. We also added commands to toggle left and right sidebars. No keyboard commands are set by default. So let's go into our hotkeys. I think they're right at the bottom. Yeah, yep. Uh, and also open today's note. So if you don't want to click this over here, you can set a open today's note. And let's set that easy to set. Uh, let's just say Shift Command O. Perfect. 
toggle left sidebar. And let's call that um, Shift Command. Oh, it's uh, not L. Shift Command S. Not what I want. Uh, Shift Command L. There you go. Let's kill that one. And toggle right sidebar. Shift Command R. So now we should be able to go toggle. Toggle. Perfect. Now, one actually I skipped in here, link with heading specified embed. You also have to, for this one here, um, okay, this was actually confusing to me. I had to ask about it. Um, but you also need to have in here the preview plugin turned on. Page preview. If you don't have page preview turned on, it won't happen. So this is another thing that I found. I was like, oh, it's not working, but I didn't have the plugin turned on. So that gives you this preview right here. One thing I'd love to see uh, in the future is that I can't go down and scroll it. That gives me an idea of what's happening. That's good. Uh, this also gives me hope that we can do some transcluding here, which would be including this, like actually doing an embed of this little chunk here into the file. That would be awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Both the link suggestion and quick link switcher highlight matches as you type. Perfect. Uh, and there's CSS here. You can navigate back command to return to a document. There's a navigate back command. I didn't actually know that. Where do we find that? Is it in the hotkeys? Open random note, navigate back. Oh yeah, so that's uh, command option and the back arrow. So that would mean if I went to this, I can do command option arrow. I was actually looking for this while I set up for this screencast, like that feature, I didn't read the changes. Uh, markdown links to the relative path now work. Great, and we can format our notes, examples, um, prove the format, your notes, examples to include some of the letter, lesser used formats, satisfy, satisfy certain developer. <laughs> so nerds complained about something <laughs> and they fixed it. That's what they're saying. Uh, format your notes. I don't have any examples in here. I think that's because I didn't import the project, uh, which you can do under help, yeah at the help and demo folder probably. Let's just do it and find out. Uh, so quick start, start here, but let's go back to what's new in Obsidian and format your notes. Does that now lead me somewhere? Bring my cursor down here and hit option, enter. Still doesn't take me there. I don't actually know what format your notes does because they have given it a wiki link uh, in here, but I don't actually have one. So I don't know what this. But that is what's new in Obsidian 0.6.0. They released 0.5.2, I think, on Thursday. 0.5.3, which is a minor bug fix on Friday. And Monday, they released 0.6.0. I am like super stoked about the development of the app. There is lots to love about it, and it is changing quickly. And seeing some things like this, what's new in Obsidian 6.0, like with that embed there, really leads me hope like hope that we'll see some transcluding eventually. Um, probably my biggest thing I don't look forward to or love about the app is that they are saying that the iPad OS version is going to be a long, like the iOS tablet phone version is going to be a long way off. And the, the things they're at least indicating at this point is that it's not going to be as full featured as a desktop app. And since I spend a lot of my time, especially my note taking time and especially my reading time, all my writing time on my iPad, like that's my main device for that, that... I, let's get a full featured app, please. Anyway, hey, that's it. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you love the video, subscribe. And if you really want to support everything that goes on here, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis and support the channel. Have an awesome day.